So we just arrived at the Acropolis Museum, guys, and uh, there are two sides. One is like the north side, and one is the south side. So right now we're climbing the uh, side. So the south side apparently has less visitors, and we came around in the evening, so we can you know skip the line. So let's see how how much it worked out in our favor. Thank you. My name is Pride. I like uh -huh. to say. Maybe they call me. Okay. Acropolis is the hill we go now. Uh -huh. One yeah. of the nine hills, not uh -huh. seven they're riding. Okay. The third highest, uh -huh. 156 yeah. meters high. Uh -huh. Acro means the end, the uh -huh. edge. Uh -huh. Holy city. Uh -huh. People, they were living in the caves around. Uh -huh. Okay. spring water. Okay. Therefore, they settled here. Okay. And not on the other nine hills. Okay. And we have places for a thousand BC. People living in the caves. Oh. New stone. The Mycenaean time, the King Aegeus made his palace up here. Okay. We call this ATC. Uh huh. Up here. Uh -huh. According to Herodotus. Uh -huh. <laughs> the first fortification on the hill, the main sign of the Trojan War. Oh. oh, after we had 300 years, the we call them dark ages because we don't know anything. So, according to Herodotus, the first fortification, they did the time of the Trojan War. Okay. 13th century. Okay. We had 300 years geological catastrophes, the upside down, and after they were not afraid anymore, the Athenians settled down. Okay. They made the Agora to the north. Uh -huh. 
And after here, it will be a holy place. Okay. In every holy place, nobody's allowed to burn, to die, or to live. Even the guard lived outside. Oh, wow. They made temples in the 5th century BC. Uh -huh. The Persians came and burned them. And after the Persian catastrophe, this is the best spot for a tour because after you cannot go to I only made this one because when we come down, we cannot come from here. So oh, okay. This one. Go inside the temples, pray and live. Once in the long year, okay. with a full moon in August, uh -huh. they opened those many doors. Okay. The Athenians came down from the Agora, their center of the city, uh -huh. through a pavement, no steps there. Uh -huh. And they finished the procession to the left. Uh -huh. We have the temple, a red with three holy What is that? The temple area with three The little park was dedicated to Athena in the temple of the seasons. And in front of the Arachnia, to the left, they finish the procession. The right, to the right, we see the most important temple is Parthenon. Okay. Parthenon to the right, Arachnia to the left, the gate, Propylia behind us, uh -huh. and in front of the gate uh -huh. of the Propylia, the temple of Athena Nike, yeah. wingless, because it was a victory in the civil war. We go this way. Watch your pace, please. It's little here. People were living in the caves because there is water. Uh -huh. The king of Jesus was the father of the before Eric existed. The first fortification, they made the time of the Trojan War, uh -huh. 13th century BC. 
Uh -huh. After, don't put it in the air because it will fly away with yeah. the head. Now it's on the the goddess of hunting and virgin girls. Before, all ladies were goddesses of life. Uh, yeah, you see the wall burned by the Persians. Before oh. Parthenon, it was a big event. Stokles, the general of Athens, he used all those precious ruins uh -huh. and he made the north wall. So when you are in Plaka, to the north is Plaka. Okay. You see, the whole wall it is made out of precious ruins left behind by the Persians. Between Parthenon and Erechia, uh -huh. we have the decoration in the museum. Uh -huh. Opposite was Athena Fertility, a goddess, uh -huh. and it was an earlier gate from the 6th century. Uh -huh. After the Persians burned those, the Athenians did not give up. So they paid the slaves. They were laborers to convey to the man of the city.
Kilometer because like it was closing in the next 45 minutes so we had to like quickly uh, finish the touring with her and she was amazing she she spoke about a lot of stuff so we will explain about everything in the next vlog as to like how to go come to Acropolis with kids it was a big hassle but we will keep you posted and uh, now we might probably go and explore in and around Acropolis I heard like the streets there's a lot of street food and like you know the ones that we saw in Fira yesterday something like that so we will try to explore that and she, while she's sleeping we can we can make the maximum use of it so <laughs> she's she's knocked out so that's a time when we can use to explore so that's what we're gonna, we're gonna do and uh, keep you updated guys see ya